Super Mayhem. Hello friends, Tim here again from Super Mayhem, bringing you some more classic video game related stuff, this time in creepy form. Ah, it's that spooky time of year again, Halloween. Being in Australia, I can only imagine the whimsy and magic in the air over in America at this time. The leaves are changing, the air is becoming crisp, and demons and ghouls walk the streets with their jack-o'-lanterns shining. Here in Oz, we are lucky if we get a bogan in a stained singlet coming to our house demanding a Tim Tam or something. Anyway, in the spirit of being spooked, here is a quick list of five awesome video games you could play this Halloween. Number 5 The legendary creepypasta that started a game that is now becoming a movie, I think anyway. Slender Man gets a solid number 5 on this list because it has just become a classic horror game that I've played on at least one Halloween occasion, and you should too. For those that don't know, the game is quite simple. Released in June 2012, Slender, The Eight Pages, was a freeware game that took the internet by storm. The idea is to collect eight pages that are scattered throughout the dark woods. Sounds simple, right? Well, it is damn creepy to play at night and alone, because that sneaky child abducting Slender Man could pop out at any moment and send your heart racing like a spoilt kid races after cake. Not to mention his teleportation and lurking abilities. Slender Man is a thin, unnaturally tall humanoid with featureless head and face and wearing a black suit. He is just creepy. Use your torch when needed, but don't run out of batteries. Jog a bit if you can and try not to get caught by the Slender Man and his accompanying static or loud piano jolts. If you are looking for a free cheap thrill this Halloween and you haven't already played the game, give it a go now. Number 4 Released in North America in January 1999 for the Sony PlayStation, Konami hit a home run with their game Silent Hill. The now classic survival horror game led the pack when it came to scares back in the day, and it's still talked about now, as proved by this sentence, I guess. In this foggy piece of video game history, you are the player Harry Mason, searching for your adopted daughter in the fictional American town of Silent Hill. Even the damn town name is creepy. Some people even consider it as one of the greatest video games ever made, because it focuses more on the psychological aspects of horror, rather than smashing you in the face with gore like previous games did. The gameplay is more about puzzle solving, exploration, and of course combat against the various monsters lurking in the fog. If all that wasn't enough, there are actually five different endings for the game, depending on the actions you take, and it even includes one joke ending, which is a nice spin for the horror genre. The game also spawned several other adaptations, including a visual novel in 2001, a feature film in 2006, and of course, the two other games, Silent Hill 2 and Silent Hill 3. Pretty impressive when you think about it. If you're looking for a good spook this October 31st, then give either the classic Silent Hill or one of its sequels a go. You won't be disappointed, but you might have to change your pants after playing. Number 3 We can't have a horror game list without including the famous Resident Evil. Released in 1996 by Capcom for the Sony PlayStation, the first Resident Evil game sold over 8.63 million copies worldwide. Not bad for a survival horror game that was the first of its kind, not to mention it was the most successful debut game ever for Capcom. Known as Biohazard in Japan, Resident Evil is also a survival horror game like Silent Hill, only it has its own twist on the genre. This time you are Chris Redfield or Jill Valentine, who are a part of the elite task force known as STARS, and you are investigating the outskirts of the fictional Raccoon City after one of their team members has disappeared. Naturally, you find yourself in a zombie-filled mansion, and you have to run, gun, and explore your way out before some monster or zombie gets you. Resident Evil has a few iconic parts to it, such as the inventory system, the 3D models imposed over pre-rendered backgrounds, and of course its control style. Many games have since borrowed such ideas, and added their own spin to it. If you love you some zombies, puzzle solving, and survival horror in general, and for some reason you have never heard of the Resident Evil series, then get your butt into gear and take a look at one of them. 
There are so many ports on so many consoles, you really don't have an excuse not to have played at least one Resident Evil game. Number 2 Ah, Doom. The granddaddy of first-person shooters, and just about the video game horror genre in general. What's more brutal than fighting your way to hell? Released by id Software in 1993, Doom is generally considered as being one of the most significant and influential titles in video game history, for having helped pioneer the now-standard first-person shooter. We are talking before Counter-Strike and the likes here, boys and girls. This is MS-DOS at its finest! The original game had three nine-level episode type things, named Knee Deep in the Dead, The Shores of Hell, and Inferno. The game allows you to take control of a space marine, also known as Doom Guy, and you essentially fight through invading demons from hell. Intense, no? Add in superb graphics for the time, a killer soundtrack, and a fantastic array of weapons to choose from, and you have a real winner here, folks. The game sold, or at least was played outstandingly well, especially considering it was a mail order and shareware game. In fact, it's estimated that 15 to 20 million people played the game within a two year time span. You know you are onto a winner this Halloween if you play Doom, because its graphic violence, as well as satanic imagery, made the game subject of considerable controversy. That's right, your mum might get upset if you play this game, which is scary enough on its own. Number 1 Okay, time for a slightly less intense spooky edition. And what better game to have as number one on this list than the GameCube 2001 action-adventure launch title, Luigi's Mansion. So it's not quite a survival horror shoot 'em up but rather a ghost-infested mansion and a vacuum cleaner type thing game. Even the younger audiences can enjoy this one. It is a Nintendo-only game after all. Join Luigi on his hunt for a lost Mario after winning a contest for a free mansion, despite not actually entering in a contest. Luckily for Luigi, Professor Elvin Gadd is introduced in this game, and equips him with the Poltergust 3000. And of course the invention called the Game Boy Horror, that allows him to communicate with Luigi. This fun-filled romp allows you to capture ghosts, complete puzzles, collect coins, and of course fight the biggest ghost of them all, King Boo, who is actually behind this entire caper. Shine your torch on ghosts and get sucking, literally. That's the aim of the game here. Whilst it's not as intense as the other games on this list, Luigi's Mansion has a fantastic spooky atmosphere, music, and level design that is perfect to play on a dark Halloween night. Just don't dream about any booze after playing. Anyway, that's it for today, friends. I hope you enjoyed this list of five games you can play this Halloween. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed, it really helps the channel out. Subscribe if you are new, and also leave a comment below letting us know what games you will be playing this Halloween. And that's it from me, and I'll see you soon. <laughs> you don't need to go and traipse through New Donk City for a great deal. Head on over to supermayhem.com for all kinds of video game related goodies. We currently have a 30% off sale on everything over $40, and free shipping including Super Mario Odyssey related items even. Not enough for you? Use the coupon code ODYSSEY at the checkout for a further 15% off your order. Link in the description below. Check it out now. <laughs>